Hi everyone, so today I want to show you this card. So I've already done a square pinwheel card um, and I also did a live stream where I did all three sizes but I thought I'd do them all separately so that if you want to see just one of them you haven't got to trail through the whole video. So this one I've actually used um, Trimcraft papers for this and it's called Beyond the Shores this pad was. Really nice pad, you've got space on the back there to write. Um, and so for this I thought what I'd do, because obviously with this one I've just done rectangular panels, they're just plain. But I thought you know what, I'm going to show you some other ways of doing it. So if you want to see just the plain version, just literally I'll give you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the sizes as if they're plain. And then if you want to fancy them up like I have with, with the one I'm going to show you, you can. Okay, but if you start off with your basic panel size and then work from that. Okay, so this is the hexagonal. It folds flat and fits in an envelope for a 5 by 7 card. Okay, so we're going to get started. So you're going to need for this six panels. Now I've got some... Now, obviously, on, let me just explain quickly. On here, you've got obviously the purple is the mat, and then this one is the pattern. Now, for this, I thought I'd go for a seaside look, um, and instead of doing you know your normal mat and pattern, I've gone for the glitter as my pattern and this uh, foil as my mat. But obviously, you can see more of it because I want it to be like waves. So you're going to need to start with six base pieces that are four inches by five inches. Okay, so they're four five inches tall and four inches wide and what you're going to do on the four inch edge you're just going to score an inch in okay so i've done that already on mine because i wanted to go ahead and cut this so you weren't going to have to sit and watch me cut them all out because six panels is quite a lot i've gone ahead and scored all of mine so imagine this was four inches by five okay still is five and then i've just scored it at one inch in and then i've cut the edge and i've actually used those um wave dies that i got from coco rosa studio if you do want to go and get these i know a few people already go and got them they are really nice okay i'll just tell you now they are nice um and this is another one here and then there's also a separate just like a one wave and there's like a one or two wave of um of this one um and if you're gonna if you're gonna go over there please don't forget to use my code which is iced 20 because it will get you 20 percent off so it's well worth remembering um so what we're going to do is i'm just going to go ahead now and I'm going to, because of because this is unusual and it's uneven, I've actually managed to match up each mat and pattern with the actual wave section. So as I go through, I'm going to stick them down onto the right panel, okay? It might not make sense to you, but I know what I'm talking about, okay? It, it, you know, it's, it's fine. Um, so what you're going to need, as I said, is six panels, base card panels that are four by five. You then also need six mat pieces that are two and three quarter by four and three quarter and then six pattern panels that are two and a half by four and a half in fact you need five pattern panels that are two and a half by five and a half by four and a half and you need a white one as well that's the same size okay um so that's going to be for your message if you want to cut a design out like i have here then obviously start with your basic size and then add your border die or whatever okay so it's better that you go you start with your size and then you cut your thing out rather than doing it the way around because you want it to still fit in that five by seven envelope. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm just going to fold and burnish all of my panels. And I'm also going to stick down my waves as I go. Okay, so we've stuck, I've stuck down all my panels. So now we're going to do, go ahead and do what we did before. So I'm literally going to turn this over. I'm going to put one of them to one side. Then we're going to take the next one. And on the top tab of the mountain, we're going to put some either red tape or wet glue. Whatever you've got that's strong. So I'm using Yoohoo because I know that it's strong. If you've got any other kind of wet glue that's strong, then you can go ahead and use that. And then once you've done that, you're just going to turn it back over. And this cut edge here is going to go just to the right hand side up against the bump of that score line. Make sure you don't put it over the bump. It needs to literally nudge up just to the edge of that, that bump on the score line. OK, and stick it down. So you've basically got two tabs and then your big panel. So then you're going to take your next one, turn it over, put some glue or tape on the tab. 
and then turn it back over again and then line this cut line up with that next bump again your next score line but again make sure it doesn't go over it it needs to be on the right hand side of that score line okay and then we're going to do the next with the next one the same with the next one so you basically do this with each of your panels all six panels get stuck down exactly the same way just make sure each time you go to stick it down you're sticking it next to so where you've got your big panel it's that score line on the right don't try and stick it next to any of the others it's always going to be the the far right score line and you also just need to make sure that you have folded all of your panels the right way so make sure they're all mountain folds um, if you've stuck panels down like i have it's very important because otherwise you're going to end up with uh, panels being on in the wrong place i'm just going to finish off these last two So you should end up with that so you've got like a line of six tabs and then a big panel and if you stand it up that's what it looks like i should have shown you each one what it looked like but anyway you get the idea okay so then what we want to do is if you just fold this one forward like that and put the rest flat like that in fact no let's fold two forward actually on this one uh yeah so okay so fold this one and this one out so those two are in line you're folding along that joint there like that so you've got two panels and then sit it down and then you're going to add some more glue or tape to this one here and then you're going to take this big panel here just this one obviously not the one behind just this one and fold it over and on top like that and then when you finish you can open it up and there you have your hexagonal pinwheel card and obviously I've got, if you look at it, you've got your white panel. So this is my white panel. So that means this needs to be the front panel. So if I turn this around, that's going to be my front panel. Now on the square card, what we did is we also cut some panels out for here. So if you want to, you can go ahead and cut panels out like I did with this one. So for this one, which is just a normal standard one, I had six matte panels that are one and three quarter by four and three quarter and six pattern panels that are one and a half by four and a half okay so on this one i decided not to do that i'm going to leave them as plain um, and what i'm going to do is when i was cutting out i had a bit of a trial to see because i've got a little dolphin punch and the dolphin punch wasn't really working but i quite like the little dolphins that it cut out so i'm going to go ahead and i'm just going to stick some of them just on the other sides of here i've also got some um sprinkles starshine circles and also cerulean circles as well so i'm going to add these in with my little dolphins just on this underside and then that way i've got a bit of decoration but i haven't gone overboard i'm going to leave these plain as they are i'm not going to add any more on them i don't think you could add more things coming out of them if you wanted to but um i don't think i will and then i just obviously need to add a greeting on the front there i've got nothing cut out at the moment so but yeah i just need a greeting on the front there So I've gone ahead and just added some little um, dolphins, some little um, pearly things, circles, whatever they're called, sprinkles. And I've left the underside blank. You could put something on there if you wanted to. So all I've got to do now is add a greeting on the front. Um, I've really not decorated this up very much. You could really go to town, but with little fishes and everything. And, and I might do that another time. But right now, I just really wanted to show you the actual card how you put it together. So I've just gone for a very plain greeting, and that's just going to go on there like that. Okay, so there's the greeting on the front there. So yeah, so that's the end of your card. So obviously that it, folds down to fit in an envelope for a 5x7. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please go and check out the one where I made the square pinwheel card, which is this one. So this is the square one. And this fits in an envelope for 6x6. Um, so yeah, so like, just subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.